Hey, what's going on? This is Rich for KME Gamer TV. Uh, it's been a little while since I've uploaded anything. I've been doing some things and some soul searching, a little bit of laundry, bought a snowblower. But anyway, so this is a 2v2 with me and my good pal Loki. And I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to play a game with him. So it's. Uh, this is actually. I'm trying to think. I think my fourth, uh, fourth or fifth two v two since I stopped playing the practice league or whatever. I just skipped it because that was rather boring. Uh, it's way too slow. So anyway, so here, uh, basically, I'm just gonna start off making SUVs, getting my gas up. Um, I'm pretty much decided that I'm going to go with what I know because, you know, I don't want to get too, you know, too risky or too far out there. Uh, basically, just didn't want to, I want to kind of play it safe. So. Uh, usually, when I go Terrans, my special is Marines, Marauders, Metabacks, and Siege Tanks. Not, I don't go crazy on the tanks, but... The last 2v2 game I actually played, um, me and the guy who was playing, the game was over within like five minutes because they basically just cannon rushed us. So I was just like, okay. So I know here I'm scrambling. I'm just trying to get a wall up as soon as possible so these guys get the same idea. And I believe our opponents are both Terran. Uh, as you can see, I am Terran and my low key is. Protoss. Now he is a significantly better player than I am. I would just like to put that out there. So I th I th I'm pretty sure he he carried me this entire game. But uh, so yeah, this SCV doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, I don't have the production thing up, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it based on what I remember and whatnot. So. Ready. I should have already had uh, Orbital Command up, and the fact that I don't shows just how big of a noob I am. Um, but I do I do have a build so I can get at least three or four siege tanks up uh, under seven minutes. Add on complete. Which is if you've ever played the computers, that's pretty much if you will if you played them on hard that's usually when they send their first wave so it's just kind of a good little uh, you know time stamp to kind of shoot for as far as the goal goes go, go, go. so I did something a little different than I usually do just because I was so so eager to get that wall up so I just started my barracks there right in the front because I wanted to get that reactor bay up so I could just swap it out with the factory that way I can get some siege tanks rolling um, as here you can see I'm building me another barracks you know still trying to input my uh, sorry, uh, push my output of uh, resource collection I don't think this game was uh, very, very overly aggressive. Uh, I know we didn't really do a lot of harassment in the beginning, which is something that I got to work on. Uh, I know lately I've been working on expanding, and scouting too. Research so here complete. I am sending my SCV to go get the Zelnaga Tower and here I'm sending my other guy to go get the other one because I found it is very important to research complete. have control of those towers because obviously well, I mean that's just basically StarCraft 101. Okay so we're about six minutes, fifty-three seconds into the game, and 
I believe now I'm building a starport. God, why don't I have the production thing? I don't know. So. Luckily, my buddy's scouting out their base, and me, like a noob, I'm just not even paying attention. I got the on uh, player's action as far as the camera goes. So you can, you're can you seeing exactly what I'm seeing. I should be a little bit more... There we go. Okay. So I'm researching STEM. Trying to get that ready. I'm not... Uh, I guess at this point I'm not really sure what, what, what my buddy's feeling out. Uh, I... Oh, here he goes. Yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, these guys... Apparently, um, I didn't see it. Luckily, he did. They snuck in from the back, snuck in the tank and some marines and stuff. So, me and my extremely slow reaction time. But we were able to basically take care of these guys, no, no problems. So now I got my minor guys all unorganized. Hey, here comes Loki. So yeah, I would have been screwed if he wouldn't have, uh, I probably, honestly, I probably wouldn't have even noticed. I mean, I don't know. That's, that's another thing, I really gotta be aware of my surroundings at all times. So, so when I when I do these things, this is not just, uh, you know, to make this thing entertaining. Um, which I'm sure, just hearing me talk while watching this game, it's probably not very entertaining. I can't imagine it is. And then, I don't know who would be watching it. But, we're grateful that you do. But, uh, I do like to, you know, watch these things to learn from my mistakes. Which are numerous. So, uh, basically here I just gave control to Loki because I kind of established the fact that he is a... This is the first time I've ever played with him. It's actually a guy I work with. Uh, that he is a much better player than I. So, there I just kind of swapped up the view for a minute. Uh, so you can see purple has expanded to basically three corners of the map. Which is pretty good. That's something I usually like to do. I don't know why I didn't do it. I guess I was just... This whole game I was just like playing catch up, so... Uh, unit units are starting to pop out. Um, I'm very, I'm a very big fan of Vikings. Um, I'm surprised more people don't use them more often, but I, I think they're one of the coolest units in this game. I mean, I, I rarely do I ever land them on the ground and use them like that, but you know, from a guy who prefers to go typically ground. Like Marines, Marauders, or you know, mass stalkers and zealots. I love zealots when I'm pro dots, but that's another story. Uh, it's always nice to have a counter air, you know, in case they got banshees or whatever, which you'll actually see a little bit later. Plus, you can you know build them with uh, what do you call it? Uh, reactor core. You can build two of them at a time. It's go time. You can see uh, frames per or actions per minute. Sorry. SCV ready. I don't know. I know that's uh, kind of the standard as far as <clears throat> you know, seeing your talent or skill. But looks like we're all about the same. Supply depots required. So here I keep getting supply locked like a noob. And I got this SCV just chilling, not doing anything. SCV ready. Uh let's do a count. Ready to roll out. Well, mm, I guess not. Never mind. <laughs> so typically when I when I play a game, I will Upgrade complete. When I hotkey my units, I usually do my, you know, all my units as hotkey one. And then I usually do 
like whatever is kind of my side you know or my uh, support units in this case would be siege tanks uh, as hotkey number two and if I got medevacs usually I'll just keep them in there and uh, I just find it easier because uh, well I actually use the Razor Naga which supposedly is a MMO mouse but I actually find it very useful for this game because rarely you know do I have to even move my hand away from the arrow slash control buttons because I can just you know get to all my hotkeys basically with my thumb so ready to blunder this better be good there was a nice little waste of uh, scan sweep but I just wanted to see if they had anything going on any expansions so which is smart like I said the guy he he, he took both corners of the map you know so where's the first place I look right in front of his base and he didn't even use that not yet so getting supply locked again I uh, got SUVs just chilling doing my upgrades for my infantry Additional getting some more medevacs can never have enough medevacs God, why? Yeah. What are you doing? Your supply lock. Build more. Build some more supply depots. God. I don't even know why. Why I'm playing? I should just Ready for dust off. exit right now and uninstall the game. This is terrible. Just, just throw it away. Research. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I love this game too much. Super pumped about Heart of the Swarm, as I'm sure most people are. I think uh, I think the Wings of Liberty was a was a great game. The campaign was awesome, and uh, I think Heart of the Swarm will match that, if not exceed, which I would expect it would. Upgrade complete. So now that I got all my guys just kind of sitting around in one place, I got my expansion totally undefended, except for a couple Vikings. I got. Minerals and gas galore. I need to get. I should be a little bit more uh, better at resource management. There's no reason my minerals should be that high. And now I'm getting attacked by cloak banshees, which my Vikings are going to attack, but they can't see them. This better be good. And I'm like freaking out, thinking, "Oh crap, they can attack them." Oh wait, no, they can only attack the ground, which is nice. So, Ready to blunder. it's going to take me about 15 minutes to get all, all my guys in on there. Meanwhile, they destroyed my base, and now I can see them. So, it's a good thing that I sent in a whole bunch of marauders and tanks to go attack some banshees. Because, you know, they can attack only ground. It's really smart. But uh, I think from this point forward, me and me and Loki are are much more uh, aggressive. We don't just kind of sit back. Uh, like, like these guys, they they they're they're doing their harassment, but you know it's not really. I, I think they could have done a better job, and I think if they would have, you know, pushed even just a little harder, they would have put me in a very compromising position. You know that uh, I don't think Loki would have been able to bail me out. And here, now I sent two guys to go build expansions. And for some reason I canceled one of them, which is a good thing because there's actually the purple base <laughs> in that other one, so. Which I didn't know at the time, obviously. But, you know, I'm just kinda like, well, I, got, I gotta get going here. I gotta get, you know, I gotta get some minerals going. I gotta tech up or do something, because clearly, you know, Mr. Loki is kind of raising the bar with all his colossi and stalkers and his upgrades. And that probe just kind of scouting the area, so. Our allies Here's a nice little, uh, nice little battle scene where we take out dude's expansion. Ready to blunder. And I believe... Now the whole time... Yeah, I, this is basically how we communicate. He 
does a little pin drop thing on the map, which personally I find super irritating. I hate it when people do that. I'm sure we've all played with people who, you know, every five seconds are using that thing. Stupid noobs. <laughs> so, now that we've taken out a couple of their expansions, um, we're just kind of, I think that's kind of the point where we're both like, well, let's, uh, let's stay aggressive. So, and then, and then we see this. Nothing but uh, battle cruisers and thors. It's always a good sign. Terran's strongest weapons. And a whole lot of them, I might add. Our allies. But uh, yeah, so he Loki had the smart sense to get out of there. Me, I'm just like, okay, I, I would have probably just left all my guys there to die if I hadn't seen him leave. But I'm just like, uh, but. Now I got my Vikings, so unfortunately for uh, the battle cruisers, the battle cruisers don't stand a chance against Vikings. I mean, they are, like I was saying before, I, I love the Vikings for that reason because this guy just spent, you know, 400 minerals, 300 gas on each of those uh, battle cruisers, and a couple of my, you know, 150 dollar Vikings put them to shame. That's a lot of money that guy just lost. Now, granted, I lost a bunch of money too, but this is kind of the turning point in the game for me, where I'm just like, okay, so what I had wasn't working. Uh, he's got ground, so I'm gonna pursue more more air. And uh, well, I guess, I guess I still kind of transition. I mean, obviously, because I I fully teched up my infantry, so I'm still gonna pursue my infantry, but. Uh, I kind of understand that there's going to be there's this need for uh, air support, or uh, Ready for dust off. perhaps in a little while I do. But yeah, never mind. It looks like I'm still making Best tanks. Thing, guys and are exhausted. Sooner or later, I just I make a bunch of Vikings. So meanwhile, we're just going to kind of regroup there. Uh, Upgrade complete. Yeah, the one thing that we really lacked was uh, teammate communication. Because I, I prefer when I'm playing with somebody, you know, especially if I know them, I prefer to play, you know, at least be in, you know, voice communication. Because there's just so many things you have to do with your keyboard and your mouse in this game. You know, I really hate typing. It's, it's so hard if you're trying to control this and, you know, manage your SCVs and, you know, play defense and all this other stuff. And then, but, you know, and then you're going to try and coordinate an attack with your, you know, your partner. So. But, yeah, my, uh, Loki's uh, voice, uh, like his mic or whatever, was messed up on his headset, so he could only hear me. Here, probably not doing the smartest thing. I'm using my Vikings as scouts when I can clearly see there's missile turrets galore. <coughs> and I actually think I had a scan suit, so that would have been smarter. But so I guess my infantry is not totally obsolete, but uh, you know, I definitely just let my Vikings go to waste there. I don't know if you kind of noticed, but their setup is they have they have siege tanks kind of set up in little quadrants, which was very effective against us. I mean, it, you know, it essentially stopped us from wiping them out right here and there. But it's the purple. Oh, and uh, if you look in, you know, above the mini map, uh, you can see that I have ten SUVs just standing around doing nothing. So. And I just kind of leave my two siege tanks there for a second. So. Gangway, coming through. Oh, it's on. 
So I have to do a little, yep, SCVs are still standing there. And there's this purple guy just kind of sitting there watching my base, getting some free scouting. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, this this is just not a very good game for me. I mean, we, we end up winning, but uh, not to kind of spoil the surprise or anything. But like I said, uh, Loki definitely carried Upgrade me on his back. Complete. I, I don't think I played terrible, but I mean, I think if these guys would have been just slightly, slightly better, slightly more aggressive, um, me being the weak link would have would have definitely uh, probably uh, altered the way this game turned out. Upgrade so. complete. Our SCVs are under attack. Just an SCV standing there, which I could have had him go sit at the Zelnaga Tower. Instead, no. I'm just going to let him get blown up. And Loki was nice enough attacked. to send in his entire force to try and save my one guy. But yeah, here's where I was talking about. So now I'm going to pump out two more starports. And, you know, I, I realize that, you know, since he's got the ground force. So I'm going to start doing uh, air support because they are much more effective at taking out those battle cruisers than my marines and my tanks and whatever else. Gangway, coming through. SCV ready. That is, you know, you, you, you see those immortals? Those are my favorite unit by far as far as the Protoss are. But God, they're so expensive. And they take up, what is it, four? Four supply? I mean, oh, how, how do you fit four guys in there, you know? I mean, that's Ready like basically butter. saying there's four marines sitting in there. Two siege tanks, or, you it's know, uh, whatever. But they are the answer to siege tanks, so I suppose, you know, go, go, if, uh, if, you're, if you're fighting a Terran opponent, you definitely want to have time. them. Ready to blunder. All right, so now we're rebuilding our force. Uh, Loki's got Ready a presence in the two right hand. This better be good. Little mining spots. So these guys are very limited. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm sure the resources, if not, are, are, if not dwindling, if not gone, at their home base. Oh, it's so. I think they know it's just a matter of time. And uh, apparently I have to say one, so. Ready to roll out. Mineral field. Ready for dust off. My partner doesn't obviously Ready care. To I, th I think that was just an accident. I was trying to do something and I pressed whatever. But So, I got plenty more Vikings. Still got the Marines and Marauders and uh, one medevac to support. A couple of siege tanks. Go, go. Hot so keying tough. them up. Ready to blunder. There we go. Got got their their home base wide open. Let's have a blast. So I'm just kind of gathering up our strength for the final blow. My minerals are still probably way too high. I mean, especially for you know being. 40 supply under what, what Our my cap is. And Our allies and base is under 50 attack. from the max of that. I mean, there's there's no reason. I should have all kinds of things going on. And actually, Green kind of switched to uh, Marines, which I don't know why, because you saw the Colossus. You saw that. I mean, they just basically pop like balloons. Here we're gonna lure in the tanks and I'm gonna send in the Vikings. I think I got two uh, not in my head. But I gotta be careful for their uh, anti air. Look at that. BAM! Take that. Yeah, let's count. Ready? 400. 800. 1200. 1600, 
2000, 20, 24, 28. Oh shit, man. He's just like, that's too much. He had to leave. He had to leave. Sorry. Or else has left the game. That's always a low blow when you leave your teammate anyways. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.